Hello, this is your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn. And I really pray I'm in frame. If I'm not, I do apologize in advance because I'm home alone by myself trying to do these birthday videos. Usually I have mom with me as my co-pilot where she would adjust the screen and everything for me or my nephew or even my husband. But they're at work, mom at the hospital with dad, so I'm trying to do everything solo. So with that being said, if y'all saw my previous video, I got all the kids dressed in pink, girls and boys got on pink today, which is one of my favorite colors. And as you can see, one of my gifts was even wrapped in pink. And we're gonna open that first. And, but no, I think I'm gonna save that one for last because that's a big one. Um, we got little Miss Victoria and she got on her little rosette ruffly dress and um, and her pink shoes and um, pink lace socks. We got little Miss Peyton. They two actually have on matching dresses with their um, roses and she has on, now you only can see the bottom of her shoe, but it's gold with um, light pink bow and trim. And like I said, y'all will see all the details of the outfit when I do the next changing video. And then we got little Miss LaWanda Rose sitting here, and she have on green and paint. And it just dawned on me, <laughs> just before I brought her up, to put her on her little diaper cover, because I forgot to put her diaper cover on her. But anyway, she got on gray and paint. Well, actually, um, this dress actually comes with a pink pants. But um, today, we put it with the pink satin diaper cover. But I want to get to opening some of my birthday presents. Well, um, from two people here on YouTube, they were really um, nice and got me some things for my birthday. You know what? I said I was going to hold that for that. I better do that first because I can tell you, I sent, when I pick up this box, I sent my mom a picture of the box. And she, my mom has called here. Right now, my mom is actually in the doctor's office because she's not feeling good down there. And she's in the doctor's office. And she's been calling me wanting to know what was in the big box. So, I need to open the big box first. Now, I thought, give me a second because I could have sworn I brought. Yes, I did. And I hope these box openers don't mess up my hair cutting scissors because these are, you know, these are my hair cutting scissors. And, I, and it has the matching um, thinning shears to go with it. But um, I'm going to open the box with this here. Oh, before I do that, I want to show y'all. Look at my mama little pillows. It say, a mother's love and tender care spread warmth and kindness everywhere. Good philosophy in life. Anyway, we're going to get this big box of three. I'm going to knock the kids down. And I already cut the... The, um address off and for those watching this box came from bully's nursery and she and it's so pretty it she got it wrapped in my favorite color which i told y'all is pink i just wanted you to put kensington on here because kensington is actually dressed in this same hold on you know what no i'm, I'm kensington actually got on her dress this color pink and it has all the beautiful unicorn stickers which, you know me, I, I'm I'm funny. I love little frilly things like this here. I, and I, I would just tell Cassandra, I'm nothing but a big kid at heart, literally. You know, I ain't never had no kids with the exception of these <laughs> and my pets. And so, even like when we went to, um, if y'all go back and check my videos, when we went to the Cabbage Patch place. And that's something I always wanted all my life was a Cabbage Patch. And mom got all my little sister's cabbage. She never got me one. And I bought one before from a yard sale and stuff like that. But I just wanted me a brand new cabbage patch for myself. Well, my sister actually brought her kids. And I didn't want to pick before the kids. But I really, and part of me really did. But then I said, you know, y'all, this when y'all trip, y'all invited me along. Y'all pick the one y'all want to buy for y'all sales first. And then after that, I'll pick the one that I want. Y'all, if you see those pictures, I you can count on 32 teeth in my head. I could not 
And the video is on here on YouTube with the a picture slide video when we went to the Cabbage Black Feelings. Y'all gotta, you gotta go back and look at me. Just as happy as a child in the candy store. But I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. I am going to find a way to get these stickers off this paper. If I have to take my time and cut each one off. And what I think I'm gonna do is hard glue them onto, um, oh, well, not hard glue, but just glue them onto Canela's, uh, and the, the one from this box, as well as the one to, um, that, um, what's the girl name? Bella Blessing. She sent me that was on her box, and I'm gonna put it on Canela, um, dresser draw. All the Annie wrapper make containers that I hope keep their clothes wrapped in. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, and on, she did say she forget to leave something out, so I'm going to take this off. But this is a neat idea. When you forget something to put, because I've done this plenty of times, and I had to open up, take all the tape off the box, and add the thing. And look at here, she just take clear tape, and just tape it right on the outside of the box. And it came here secure and everything, never even came out or anything. So I'm glad I saw this, and this is a little, um, you know, little hint you can do. Like if you package up something, you left something out, just tape it on the outside with clear tape and make sure it's secure. I thought this is really, well, actually, it may not be tape. I think this might be a little plastic bag or something they put over, or something, and then, or you can put a, pla a piece of top plastic and then get it. Lord, and I try not to mess up all that. I'm trying to not to mess up my stickers of all stupid things. Trying to get the socks out. Oh goodness. And I don't want to cut the socks either. You know what? Let me just do this here because we'll be here all day. This video will be so long. Here, yeah, here it is. I think this was so neat. And I like the way they did that. And just tape it on the outside. This is so neat. Cause I've done this so many times. Why well, forget to put something in the box? Hopefully I don't want to take the bow off my socks. Just stick to the bow. And even if the bow do come loose, I can tack it back on. I'm not worried about that. And if we can avoid it, there you go. Some beautiful little Mary Jeans with the pink bow. Tell you true, one of them could have had these on today. Look at here, Lawanda. You need to hold your head up and hold your little um, Mickey up. That's why I put that pocketbook behind Peyton. Let me see. Kind of lean on your sister. So that I can, because uh, I can't. Her head don't. Well, now that they're both of them floppy like with the head. love love the unicorn stickers and then another thing you know it's good sad to say earl you got everybody like a unicorn but i always told y'all when reva and canela came that was the theme i was doing with them well i'm invited to a baby shower come november and i ain't gonna tell y'all i'm doing i doing the unicorn theme for that baby as well so when before i package up that um gift i'll um show that on video as i'm packing the gift for that baby shower because there's some really nice unicorn things that that's still out there right now oh my goodness you know bully be doing the most check this out y'all i'm gonna have to set this down because i can't pull this box and get everything out you gotta be kidding me gracious d now you know <laughs> see you gotta love this bully you gotta love her Hold on, I'm gonna open this one first. Oh, this is, and you know, I just said I wanted to get the babies blue because I, when we did that navy blue theme, I don't really have much blue. But this is Calvin Klein, and it's three to six months. And check that out. I just said this in the other day, but I say Miss Dawn and all of them put their babies and things in blue. And I, I'm, I'm really falling. I, I love pink, but I'm really beginning to like blue more. 
But this is absolutely cute. So this came right on time. That is pretty. Now this can be for um, Daniel. But as well as he can wear this, this could be unisex. So that's a girl. That can go girl all boy to me. So both of them getting the way that. And you know, Daniel, that I went from his bully and Pete and they, um, they both were, um, and in all seriousness, they both were reborn by the same artist, Divine Brooks. But even though I have her in my collection, this doll originally came from Miss Bully as well. Miss Bully sent this doll to Bohemian Doll Lover. And Bohemian Doll Lover got her another one redid. And I got this one from Bohemian Doll Lover. But originally this doll also came from Miss Bully. So I got two dolls in my collection. And it just so happened both of them were reborn by the same artist. And they both are sculpted by the same artist, Michelle Fagan. And they both even have the same limbs. The boy as well as her. And this is the Elliot Scout. And these two are the Saskia Scouts. So I will be, y'all will see both girl and boy in this outfit here. Because that's pretty. And I want to see my girls in blue too. Ooh. Now this, oh my goodness, they're getting cuter and cuter, y'all. <laughs> oh wow, now this one is by Baby Gear. And look at the little tennis shoes. Now, isn't that cute? I love that. I love it. Oh, Miss Bully, this is too pretty. And he says, very cool. Oh, that's like the strawberry little um, patch, little print on that. And then you got, now see, this is another set. The boy can put on this one with the bow tie. And the girl can put on this one, and they can have four nitty sets. That is cute. Now, she probably ain't saying to me for that, but that's all I'm doing. It. I love it. Jonathan, not Jonathan, Daniel Bo and Peyton can wear these here. That is very cute there. I love that. And you know one thing, um, Danny got the low bow tie. Now, see, that can even be, like, I do, like, I do a lot of dress outfits for Sunday best, but I also do Sunday, um, best casual dress, like that. And with this having a low bow tie on the bed, you put it on with the pants, and that can be for that as well. I like that. I really like that. Very beautiful. And see, the, and the good thing I like about this, this everything that she gave me, these are things that I don't have and colors that I don't have. So that is cute. Now check this out. U.S. Polo Denim. Oh, now that is cute. And look at that little um, denim print shirt. Oh, man. oh, shoot. He might put on one of these this week here. I had him for... He got a good little Sunday best. So y'all might be seeing Daniel more often with his Sunday best um, dress sets and stuff on. Oh, man. Check that out. My boy about to be off the charts this winter. Let me go get him some Timberlands or something. She got Timberlands. The, she got the pink Timbs. I need to get him the brown Timbs so they can, they can have their Timberlands and their little jean outfits and stuff together. Wait a minute. None of my phone is ringing in the middle. I hear it. What do I do with that phone? Because it's on vibrate. Well, whoever calling, I'm have to just catch them back. And it's probably Miss Bully or Cassandra, you know. I don't know. I turn it on vibrate and I can feel it just vibrating on the couch, but I don't know where is that. Oh snap, wait a minute. I'm talking about splitting up this set for the boy. But check it out. She ain't there saying what for the girls. Oh snap. I, you know I gotta put this one. Hold this. 
Because I like to give. Now, you know. Let's put that right there. Now, I love that. Look at it here. With the ruffles on the girl butt. And I'm talking about they two could have shared that outfit. Well, really, I tell you what. Um, one of the boys can put on the, the set with the pants, and the other one can put on the set with just the the um the onesie. But him and the girl, how many sister got a coordinating set with the beer? Check now, how cute is that? How cute is that, really? And this got the white with the pink trim. And look at there. The boy and girl said, now that is just too, too cute. Now, I love that. Oh, and this one is um, baby gear as well, three to six months. Perfect for the two of them. Just perfect. Let me get Jonathan in here. Hold up. I'm going to get Jonathan in here because he getting all the clothes. He got to come into this video now. I had him hide up underneath the grid because he didn't have his shoes on with his big self. Oh, goodness. Let's put Jonathan right here. Oops. He dropped a little lizard. He got on a birthday hat celebrating my birthday today. While we open these gifts, we got And I should have put him in from the start because, like I say, him. And I use. And I'm on the love seat part because. The other couch loaded from one side to the other side with all of the babies. So I'm on a different couch trying to do this here today. A mess. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Check this out. Now, I love that. Look at there. Isn't that cute with the owl? Oh, these are some beautiful sets. And this one is by Little Beginnings, three to six months. Oh, wow. These are so pretty. And this one got the butt to go to it. Now, Ms. Billy, seem like you about to send me back out to buy more shoes or something because I don't think I got... Well, no, you know what? They can wear white um shoes with the, with this. You can wear white shoes. You ain't got to always have the same color shoe to match everything. But I need another shoe for myself or these kids. It's like, we need a hole in our head. But I love, I mean, shoes is my thing. I love shoes. I love, love, love shoes. Oh, man, this is so cute. And this look good on their skin tone, too. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to tell y'all one thing. I will be repurposing these, all these beautiful color tissue papers. But these are some beautiful tissue papers. You know, it's the little things that just really fascinates and get me. It don't take much to make me all excited. Oh, MG. <laughs> this, is, this is my favorite of the day. Look at here. Little Dreamer. The pink unicorns. OMG. Now you know I want to take these girls out their dress just to put this one on. Oh my goodness. I love it. What size is this one? Three to six months. Oh man. That is pretty. We need to have another unicorn theme there. I tell you the truth. I love unicorns. Oh I love unicorns. You know what I think when the, the when we pack my um that baby shower gift, which I'm telling you, I'm doing unicorn theme. All the babies is going to have on unicorns, and this get this head here will be put on doing that video, and that that video will be done um for November, the first part of November. So look forward to that. All the girls will be in the back in unicorn while I pack a uniform unicorn theme birthday prints. I mean, um, baby shower gift. That is, oh man, that is beautiful. Oh, I love that. And I tell you the truth, the low socks that Greg got on right now, which he got the low soft pink roses, but he got a gold trim around it. Go with this perfect, because this head got the unicorn with the pink and the gold and gold writing. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, the twins. 
it's the two and the Saskies. Check it out, both Saskies. Now Miss Lily really and outdid herself with this. Really, you know this is way too much. Way, way, way too much. They can have a twenty, the two Saskies with that. We can put um, Lawanda and Victoria in that. That is perfect. Peyton, you hold it down the unicorn. Ooh. Ooh, this is beautiful. Ooh, a unicorn blanket. <laughs> oh, I was just liking the blanket because of the softness. But check out the unicorn there, y'all. With the angel wings. Oh. That is. Oh, this is so, so soft. Oh, this is soft. Oh, that and this. Perfect. Check that out. The unicorn blanket with the unicorn onesie. Oh, man. That is beautiful. Absolutely adorable. I love that. I love that. Speaking of pretty and pink, perfectly sneaky. Oh, now that is so cute. And this one is by Royal R Raffi, baby. And this is medium three to six months. With the little tutu and the um, thing. But it has the little black cat and the little um, Halloween tag on it. So one of them will have this on doing my um video which they can wait us any time but i just want to pick this on with my halloween thing that is pretty that is beautiful and you know me i love anything that sparkles see this is one thing when i went i told y'all this anything my, and my sister say all the girls turning like me anything with some fur sparkles and frills they, every time her girls go to for one another they never they, oh god we raising little earls because none of my sisters name into all of that glitz and glam like me. But I don't know because of me being a cosmetologist. We just like anything that glitz and glam. But once I go in the store, I see sparkles, frills, ruff, ruffles. I mean, the, the, <laughs> to me, you can never get enough sparkles, enough frills, enough ruffles, enough lace, and enough sparkles. The more the merrier. I'm going to tell y'all, when I used to go to those, um, all of, we used to have EMS, Educational Motivational Seminars, for, um, the, at the, um, the Dali University, used to, um, Dali Cosmetology used to give it, that, from Dali Products, and they used to have classes and everything, and then towards the end of the week, I mean, the weekend, you have a big formal banquet. I got so much beauty gowns and dresses in my closet. Y'all would think I've been running for Miss America or something. I swear we used to. As a cosmetologist, each one trying to get more glitzier than the next one. And I love it. I mean, I really, 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 really love it. glam fur sparkles i love it and not even knowing and check it out the next gift i open got the fur the glitz and the glam play with it omg i love this i love this and you know one thing i actually um which i i don't know why i never showed it on youtube because I got a container of blankets and when Erica been talking about she liked the rosé because this is the rosé for this. And Erica was saying she liked the rosé um, blankets but she got the pink one. I actually have the, um, it ain't this color pink but it's a rose, almost like an antique rose pink rosé blanket with the matching um, neck thing. 
and I had I had got that when I had Angelina and if you look back on Angelina um there's a video slide of Angelina you will see her laying on that blanket with the um the rosettes and and everything with the neck real I mean this well I'm gonna tell you one thing I was really about to go do these kids Christmas shopping but I'm gonna tell y'all right now they're not getting a set you know I might get there one or two, one thing a piece, one outfit maybe, but Bully already got it set for Christmas and everything for them, so I don't even think this all they want to close shopping right here. I don't even need to go out and get anything for them, because I'm telling you, Bully really outdid herself with this, now. I'm going to tell y'all, she really, re and y'all, I'm still picking up things out the box. This is so beautiful. Oh, that, and it's so soft. You know, if my, if my cats were here, my cats would lick this thing all day long. I'll never forget. I got a, um, it's a satin coach pocketbook, and it has 100% rabbit fur around the, around the top of the pocketbook. And I must, I wore it to a funeral, but then when I came back from the funeral, I left the pocketbook on my, on the sofa, and I just took the things out that pocketbook and put back in my everyday pocketbook. But not thinking nothing, I went to the um to work the next day i come home from work my cat sitting up on the couch y'all when i tell y'all he unlicked every bit of my pocketbook rabbit fur to my fur it looked like it was in a like i somebody just gave it a bath <laughs> he beat that pocketbook all day long every last strand of fur was soaking wet i was so sick with my cat with that but if he was, if she was so loved, because he's that particular cat on Pass Away. But he would lick this, if I had these dolls sitting in this outfit, he would come by and probably lick this thing here completely wet. Because that's how, anything was a fur, he wanted like a mess. <laughs> but that just gave me a flashback to that. Now this one is a, oh, Laura Ashley baby. But this by, oh. Okay, this is a sleeper by Laura Ashley, and it's quilted with the same color as these here, as a matter of fact. Which, to me, this is more like a corally paint. And that's how this is. It's quilted, and it has the, the coral paint um, bowls. And it has gray and coral paint flowers. And then it got the bowls on the leg. I pray all this is in frame, because this is just absolutely absolutely beautiful you know one thing i'm gonna tell y'all one thing i just turned 48 years old today and even though like i said i've been my nephew left early this morning my nephew my my, my husband got called some family members want him to do something for they had to do something for them so he had to run out to do meet them to help them with something but from this morning, about five o'clock this morning, I my phone saw bling, 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 texts, calls, um, the e cards and things were coming through all day long. And when you see something like this, say you know, like you always say, when you treat people right, you do right by people and things like this. You you see. You know, when your day comes to end on this earth, you want to let the work that you've done speak for you. And when opening up this box like this here, this here really speaks volume to me. Because I just came on YouTube back in November. And I and I haven't even been on that long. But I have met some really, really nice friends. And I got texts this morning saying that... um. Go check out this video here. Check out this video. And I, I mean, Miss Bully did a video for me wishing me happy birthday. Miss Ruth and her family. I, My husband wouldn't even get on YouTube for me to, to do a video with me with my kids. But her husband right on there saying, wishing me, singing happy birthday to me. That means so much to me. And I mean, it really touched me from the bottom of my heart. To, to, just to have people just here i mean just to, to to feel that you even made an impact on somebody life like this here. because when you come on social media like this here, and you put yourself out here and even though this is a hobby and we and like i say when and then if y'all read go to my um home page and and it says 
to talk about yourself and stuff like this here. And when I first put it up, and I actually, because like I said, for the longest, I never, I would watch YouTube, I would comment, ask questions and stuff, but I didn't know how to put videos up. So I had everything on my video blocked. As because it wasn't even about subscribers or anything, but it was no content there. But I didn't know people who didn't have content was still, you know, putting ears open. And a lot, and in all seriousness, a lot of YouTubers who I was talking to, I mean, not talking to, who I would comment on, they made videos about people blocking their content. And I don't have to call no names because they got the receipts on YouTube. Um, and and thinking it was about people not wanting to see the subscribers and stuff like this. I just didn't, I'm, I'm not that computer literate. I tell anybody that my hobby was private duty nursing and doing hair. And those, both of those I did for 20 something years. And, I, and, and, I, and I've been licensed for 28 years. And, but, the, the, but when I finally learned how to do, um, you know, somebody talked to me on how to put up videos and I didn't have hardly no subscribers. I would just go on there, have fun. And a lot of those older videos, a lot of people never seen because like I said, they had no subscribers. And my sister said, Earl, why are you putting so much videos out there? You don't even have nobody watching them. <laughs> I say, but that's okay. It's some, it's an outlet for me. But in my um, thing about me, I put that I basically was, because when I bought you, these, these you, reapers y'all see in the day and in, in the collection is just the dolls I have here at my mom's house. It does not show the dolls I have at my house. I actually started, get, I bought my first reborn. Um, it had to be, let me see, I've been, thir I've been married 13, 14, 13 or 14 years, 13 years. Might have been 13 years ago when I got my first reborn. And they don't have the, all the details that they were to, that they got today. They're actually um, Lee Middleton dolls, and I've never showed them on YouTube. But um, maybe the first of the year I might. For first of all, mom and daddy didn't want me bringing not near another doll over here because I ain't got not only these but I got all the ones I'm working on, and and I'm overrunning the house with dolls literally. But uh, so when the, probably. The, I, I try to get those ones shown at some time, but it just saddened me when, you know, when somebody reads your description and they make a whole video, and not just one person, several people made videos about, because I put on there, I don't know if I was a closet collector, because when I was collecting then, I collected, I had, when my husband met me 19 years ago, he, I had a room in my house, a whole, because like I say, I don't have children, so the other bedroom was a doll room, literally, porcelain, Barbies, regular doll baby. I had even from my first teddy bear that was, um, you know, from the time I was born, all that was in that room, because mom, we kept all our toys. I still had all my childhood Barbies and everything. So, and like I said, I'm 40-something, 48, two more years from a half a century mark be honest with you but I say this to see you know and, and they made a you know about what kind of reborn um, collector are you are you a closet reborn artist because at the time I just collect for myself and and, and I wasn't ashamed of my collection everybody came to my house knew I had dog because the door stayed open as a matter of fact I had it with a big big window where you can look right into the room and see all of the, all the dolls and stuff when you come up on the porch you can look right into the house and see the doll so I never hide the thing but they were more for like decoration and just something for me to admire and look at and stuff I never interacted with my dolls what I'm trying to see I bought reborn dolls the um, pet on like the guest beds because um, I had a three bedroom house so each bedroom each bed got dolls laying on the bed and I and I had a lot of antique furniture I would buy dolls and pet in certain you know just strategically placed throughout the house for basically decoration you know and a conversation piece never did I interact or go out with the dolls so then I put that that I probably was a closet collector then all kind of videos start popping up about closet collectors. And I say this to say, you know, every you know, when you put yourself on social media, you're gonna be judged. Whether it's about how you speak, how you pronounce your words. 
um, about your dog complexion, rather somebody think they pretty ugly. So, you know, it's just all kind of thing. But all I'm saying, if you don't have nothing good to see, why just see anything at all? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just why can't the community just keep things positive? You know, yeah, sad things happen in, in different circumstances and stuff like this. And we do talk about those and stuff. And even though like today is my birthday and I'm getting all these lovely things, it still saddens me to my heart that, yeah, I'm, I'm happy and I'm blessed to have these things. But then I got a sister that's going through something because her she just lost her mom. You see what I'm saying? So, and Denise, my heart still goes out to you. I love you, girl. But you don't know what people going, what's going on in their household, what's going on in their life, what's going on behind these YouTube cameras. Just, just try to spread love. Continue to keep the unity. Just say positive things. Let's keep all the you say, the I say, all the um, the bickering, all the negativity out the dog community. Let some other community deal with that mess here. And we just continue to spread love amongst each other. And when you spread love, you receive love. You you are what you attract. When you, you give out love, you receive that love. When you give out positivity, you receive positivity. And I haven't been on YouTube a year, not even a year. It'll be a year next month. And I have received so much love, positivity, and meeting so many good people. I, I mean, it hurt me when I couldn't come to the doll show. But like I tell y'all at the time, my aunt was transitioning to passing away. And she did end up passing away. Um, but it's just that... You know, and, and, oh, another thing, I'm working, I, I'm looking into it right now, and, um, and y'all, please don't put no time frame on me. Give me a chance to do this here, because I, you know, I got a lot going on, too, but I am looking into this here for those of us who, so for those who can't go to the doll shows and stuff like this here, and, like, we always talk about doing the meetup, because I saw this one time on, um, what was the thing? Dollfanonetime.com. They had a, a reborn cruise. But on that cruise ship, they, I think you could even bring dolls to sell and all this stuff here. But I was thinking, and I'm not looking for nothing to be expensive and something. I'm trying to look into finding a cheap cruise and see if they can give us a discount price or something where our doll community can come on the cruise ship. Who want to come? And, um,. And it maybe, and I'm trying to look at something that costs no, which costs nobody no more than three hundred dollars, three fifty, to the most, unless they want ocean view room, such as myself, because I can't be closed up and not see a window out. I feel claustrophobic, but um, where they can go, come, and we all can get together and we can bring a doll with us, and you know we can do little things on the cruise ship like we all get to dinner with, you know, or go on the deck and lay out, you know, sit with our dolls and something like this here. But and I'm thinking maybe like November, these, you know, between anywhere from October to January, somewhere in that time frame. I'm trying to see who, the, who got the most reasonable one, and when I get all the information together. I will let y'all know, and then who want to book one, they can book it, because usually they give you, I think, six months to, to pay off for your cruise, and then I was thinking, like, like I told Miss Ruth the other day, like, she said she was going through her closet and sorting out her clothes, and they, because you, you don't really, once you pay for that cruise, that include all your meals, it cruise everything on the ship with deception like alcoholic beverages or if you want to shop or something like this here but it, your room and board and your food it takes that that money would take care of all of that now if you want to shop once you get up on because like everybody don't have to go out and do a bunch of massive shopping you and you can get off the ship and go on the islands and just lay out on the beach you know you don't have to go out get a bike it doesn't take a whole lot of money to go on a cruise i went on a cruise for seven days and 
course, my husband and my um and the people that went with me, they all blow all their money the first like over the cruise, and nobody told me until we got off the ship on the, the on the first island. Nobody wanted to do nothing much, and I didn't understand why. I didn't knew they blow all their money in the casino on the ship, so I ended up had to you know help everybody out until we got off the ship. But that's neither here nor there. But like I see, there's a lot of act free activities on the ship. You got clubs on the ship. You got um, games they be doing on the ship, karaoke, all kind of things. You can, a lot of stuff you can do on the ship. And so I, I think that would be something fun when we all can come together because a lot of us can never get up with each other. And then, you know, so I figure who don't want to go to the doll shows and stuff? This will be a nice little outing we all can come together and do. But anyway, I'm going to check into that for y'all. And I will let y'all know before this year is out. So at least you'll have just almost a, a year to still pay for it and, and prepare yourself for it but you can go on that site with um you can go put some things on ebay and sell some of your old baby clothes on ebay and put the money as me put aside for your spending money for your cruise you can go on letgo.com put that money aside put it on your cruise you can go on um Craigslist sell some things because we all get overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. We got things around the house that you know, instead of throwing everything away or donating it to go, well, let's make a couple of dollars and let's all come together on this cruise. But anyway, I'm gonna get back with y'all about that. But like I say, continue to spread the love and and on the cruise ship we're gonna have nothing but positively a good time and rather one person show up or two hundred people show up, whatever we be we going to have a good time in the name of Jesus. But like I say, we continue to spread love in the, on this community and y'all allow the work that y'all done to speak for y'all. Let me get back to opening this here. And I cherish all of my friendships that I met that off of YouTube. Oh, speaking of another twin day, check this out. And another blue outfit for girls. Boy, I'm really liking this blue. I didn't think I would like blue as much until I started seeing everybody else girls in blue. Now, how pretty is that? Now, that is so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to get them in this here. Oh, that is beautiful. And they are so soft. Oh, oh. oh wait a minute. This little shirt's got a print on it. The boy got the little polar bear. I mean, not the boy. The blue got the polar bear with the um, blue snowflakes on it and the blue scarf around the thing. And then on the um, edging of the white shirt is blue. And then see the edging on this one is pink and it's the same thing with the pink snowflakes and the pink scarf around the neck. Now that is beautiful. And you got the pink leggies and then the blue leggies. Absolutely beautiful. So, but I, I but I, when I say about those different sites and stuff, I say that so we can, you don't have to come out of pocket to use that money to spend for your cruise or the the um half of spending cash. We can just find some things around the house and make money off of those things and also you can sell things on your Instagram page but don't take the money like I probably would do and just go back and invest and buy something from off somebody else page. Let's take the money and set it aside in a jar for um, the cruise. And hold on one second. Speaking of that hold on one second. Let me and see, like me, and I have several of these. Like, I like that um, Livingston uh, Red Rose wine. And Oprah Winfrey said that if you don't ever spend your chain, like this one here, I just got silver coins, and I got another jar here at Mama House where I put all the pennies in. But, um, and I got several of these full at home. But they said if you never spent, sell your if you never spend your change and you break a dollar for every time you go to the store and just put the change aside in the jar, that's another way of saving. And then at the end of the year, when time you take a trip or something, 
you just cash in all your change and you have um, money as well for spending money on your trip. And most of that is like quarters, nickels and dimes, but more quarters than anything. But now every now and then I do go in there and get quarters out for the car, um, the vacuum my car and stuff to go to the car wash. But um, like I said, I got several of those jars like that just just for changing it. But that's what I started doing here. I said, you know what? I used to do that before, and I had a friend I had told that to, and he did it for a year, and he'd been able to take all his brands to Walt Disney off a of change. So you'll be surprised how the change add up. But that's another little tip on, um, you know, making a little in extra income and stuff and saving your money and stuff like that. But I just wanted to come on and show that. And I'm trying to get through this video without booing because I'm such a big baby when it comes to anything. But I just, I mean, but when you get things like this, it just really touches you that just to know that somebody actually care for care about you this much. To just saying you something like this here. It, it's just really touching. It means a lot to me. This is a card of six months and it has the pink um, elephants and butterflies. I've always liked this print, but I never had it. And it has the matching uh, one with the um, the hearts all over it. I like that. Because I do need to change out the onesies anyway. And then she got me this stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, I like that. That smells good. Y'all excuse me. I just, I, my hands dry anyway. Oh, that smells good. And I had pen lotion on earlier. 